So, Bob, this is, a, this is Chance. He's a purebred Arabian. He's around 15 years old, and he's had chronic problems with some ulcers. He gets very stressed out, especially when he's at the show circuit. Uh, he gets very anxious, and um, we suspect he has ulcers based on some of his behavior. There's a lot of yawning and chewing and extension. So, let's see what he looks like. Okay. There we go. There we go. gets going on in here, right? Right. Aggregation, which is the next um, worst case of undigested proteins uh, next to Rouleau, and there's another crystal up here. And actually, you got the. Is this a white blood cell that's. No. Actually, this looks like this is um, a raw form bacteria bouncing around right there. This right here is actually looks like a sugar crystal. Now you have uric acid crystals and you have sugar crystals, which could be um, from sweet feet or different things. And the horse is not breaking down sugar for a lack of enzymes of the amylase, maltase, sucrase, which break down carbs, complex sugars. But inside of that, you do have some uric acid crystals as well. And there's a white blood cell. You get one white blood cell for every five to seven hundred red. Is this all fungus? That's all fungus in between there. And what happens is that will come from the feed, from the mold, uh, from different things outside them, just breathing in all those mold spores. So that fungal will make them uh, tired and fatigued. Uh, there's another rod form bacteria. You got two of them there. Two or three of them. Well, it's a nice uric acid crystal. Let me focus in on that. Wow. Is that here? That, that's uric acid. Is um, this a uric acid spicule oh, yeah. too? Yeah. Um, the uric acid is going to come in all shapes and forms. So it could be pieces, it could be lines, it could be some look like a, a big snake in there. Um, it, but it's always that bluish green color like that. And that is, this is perfect because this is aggregation. A Rouleau combination, undigested proteins, which formulates uric acid crystals. Uric acid crystals become joint or muscle pain inflammation built up. So when this uric acid forms, what does that uh, translate to in, in what I'm seeing in performance? Um, what does, the uric acid crystals translates to pain. And when you get that pain in there, it's just like a person. If, this, if they found this in a person, this uric acid, if it goes to the joints and people, they call it arthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. If it goes to the muscles in a person, it would be called five, uh, fibromyalgia or lupus. Or it could be even going to um, an injury where the inflammation will build up. Those uric acid crystals will go there, and that becomes the joint or muscle pain. Well, this little guy is sore all the time. Oh, I didn't know that. He is sore all the time. I adjust him, I do acupressure and acupuncture on him, and he gets wow. better, but he always gets sore again. So that okay. would be the explanation. That's the explanation, but here's, here's what we need to do. So bottom line is this. This is, um, we don't diagnose disease, we analyze deficiencies. So this horse is deficient in enzymes, uh, protease enzymes to break down proteins which formulate uric acid crystals, which becomes joint and muscle pain. So if it was me, um, I'm going to be giving this horse enzymes uh, with a high amount of protease to break all those proteins down so he has a better oxygen level because these guys can cause all kind of different things going on. And this could be um, a form for the ulcers, uh, different things. Also with those uric acid crystals in there, what I would do if it was me, we have a product called Stone Buster and it is some um, natural uh, Amazon herbs that actually will dissolve the uric acid crystals from the blood. Okay, what we're looking at here, this is a, actually a, a chunk of fat plaque, and we saw a bigger one in here earlier. And what that's from is off the arterial walls, which means that uh, there's the, the blood lipids uh, are, are forming in there, that um, there's no lipase. Lipase breaks down uh, all your fats. So we're lacking the, the enzyme lipase, we're lacking 
uh, amylase, maltase, sucrase to break down sugars, and we're lacking the protease to break down the proteins, which we're seeing up here, which are formulating these uric acid crystals. And we're seeing quite a few crystals in here. Uh, and, and there's a lack of oxygen going on here. When these cells are all sticking together like this, all this rouleau and aggregation, when they were all clumped up like this, this is a lack of oxygen to the body and to the brain. And so if that was me, I, I would definitely be tired and fatigued. So this is Tapiana. She's uh, also a show horse. She's half Arab, half saddlebred. And uh, she's a very, very good natural athlete. Uh, she got injured about five years ago. She got kicked by Lily, and uh, she had a pretty bad injury to her hawk. We weren't really sure she was going to recover from that. She's doing very well, but she also has a tendency to get sore. So let's see what she looks like. Any kind of fungus in there, and it will cause the, 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 the gastric tract, the, the bloating, if you will. There's a white blood cell in the middle. You get one white blood cell for every five to 700 red. Um, the red cells are looking, looking pretty good. She also had liver spicules the last time we checked her, and I'm noticing that those aren't there as much either. Ooh, look at the a fungus. lot of fungus. Um, white blood cell next white, to her yeah. fungus. Mm -hmm. Perfect. That's a nice picture of the white blood cell uh -huh. and then the fungus right there. Wow, we got some fungal in here. Okay. Not bad. A little overlapping. This is nothing compared to what she was the first no. time. The, the, o overall, it's pretty good looking blood. So this is Taffiana. See the ones that look like bottle caps? Mm -hmm. Like this guy coming through here? Those are free radicals, and that's just normal because of, um, you know, exercise, different things will cause that. The question I have was, is this something that you do once or twice and then it fixes it? Or is this something you would continue to buy the product to use? To keep the horse in this in this condition. Oh, it's not going to it's not going to fix it. It's like enzymes. It's just a it, tool that you can use to yeah, keep. Yeah, if you stop place. taking enzymes and you then you're not breaking down proteins anymore, and your cells are going to stick together. Toxicities that took us to that to begin with. If we don't fix the underlying toxicity, we're not going to expect to really change. But then again, we're not going to move to the top of the mountain and change our lifestyles and eat caveman diets. So given the circumstances that we have, I think the best thing that we can do is learn about better nutrition, make sure we're digesting, make sure we're taking in as much of the organic elements that we can possibly take in, use the herbs, so make our supplements be a, a very integral, important part of our diets, and then see how much improvement we can make. We're not going to get rid of all the toxicities in our environment. The pesticides, the chemicals, the non-organic things, they're here to stay. We just need to try to consciously minimize them and offset their deleterious effects with the proper usage of enzymes and supplements and probiotics and things that we know our body needs.